morning. Uh, I'm Chris Nolan. I'm the director of the Nolan Group. And we've been distributing shade cloth in Australia for the last 30 years. And I'm going to give you a presentation entitled Shade Cloth for Human Protection, which is based on that experience. Here we have Australia, described by one of our great poets, Dorothy McKellar, as a sunburnt country very apt description, very dry continent, a large part of a desert shown in orange there, very um, low rainfall over most of it except in the far north where it's tropical and the really the temperate parts of the country are down on the southeast coast shown in blue there and a little bit down on the west coast which is not shown and that's where most of the population of the, of the country lives including my hometown in Sydney, which is where I live. And because of its beautiful harbour and um, uh, sunny uh, and beaches and the, the climate associated with that, there is very much an outdoor lifestyle associated with living in that city. Basically because we have large amount of clear skies, Sunny, uh, sunny conditions, mild temperatures, particularly in winter. And that comes with a downside. The downside being a very high UV index over seven months of the year. Now Sydney is the same latitude south, 34 degrees south, as Los Angeles is north, 34 degrees north. And the degree of solar intensity in terms of ultraviolet index is, is, is about the same. Over seven months of the year, it's high or very high. Now that has ramifications and has had ramifications because Australians have one of the highest rates of skin cancer in the world. So it's not surprising that the country has led the way in the development of shade cloth and the design and installation of shade structures. So this presentation will be made in two parts. Part one, the pragmatic aspects of shade cloth in terms of the basic types of shade cloth of knit construction and the implication that has on shading effectiveness. Measuring the degree of uh, UV protection and infrared absorption. Resistance to degradation by light in both colour fading and strength loss and some discussion about appropriate shade cloth shading solutions. The second part is about testing and engineering design in terms of what the testing is required to derive the engineering elastic parameters and the relationship between geometry and applied lows which allows the connection between the initial setting out and the final shape of the structure. 